Hi there, it's Sam from poodle.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a darling little autumnal box. It's a little fold over box. Um, I'm just going to pull the ribbon off. It just folds open like that. It's a little two inch box. So it's two inches by two inches by one inch deep, which is five by five by uh, two and a half centimeters. Couldn't think then for a second. And it's a cute little box and you can get four of these. How have I put that ribbon on in completely the wrong direction? Doesn't matter, I'll sort it out for the photos. Um, yeah, you can get four of these from one sheet of designer series paper. This is the beautiful, stunning, gilded autumn paper. I absolutely love it. Look at all that shimmer and shine going on there. And this is the brushed metallic uh, foil cardstock. I don't know if you can see how it's brushed. It's lovely and you can see the lines that it's brushed. It's not just sort of a, a dull metallic. Okay, so you need a piece of paper that's seven by four inches, 17 and a half by 10. So if you were working on a piece that's 12 by 12, first of all, you cut your seven inch mark like that. And then because it's four inches, you get two more and then you've got five inches left over there. So you can get another one and still have leftovers. So seven by four inches, 17 and a half, by 10 centimeters on the long side score it at one three four and six which in metric is two and a half seven and a half ten and fifteen and then on the short side score it at one and three and these are darling little boxes they really are sweet you could put little sweets in them, treats, small piece of jewellery perhaps. Um, they are bigger than a Yankee Candle tea light or in fact any tea light um, so it's not a snug fit. If you want something to perfectly fit a tea light I've done projects like that so yeah there's plenty of those around but it's that's a Yankee tea light so it's bigger so you could put one in there nestled in some tissue or something entirely up to you. Okay, so here's my piece of paper. All of these squares, we're going to wedge into the squares. So keep cutting on the straight, wedge into the squares. Super simple. So I'm filming this at night time. It's currently seven o'clock at night here, absolutely pitch black. And I'm snatching filming time where I can. Um, so I would love to hear from you if this if the video if the lighting isn't so great if the lighting is fine um if you can hear background noises from my children i have just run around the house and said i've got to quickly film a video Shh. and they've all gone yeah mum but you know children's attention span is not the longest or the strongest so whether they keep quiet for 15 minutes who knows right so I've got my seal plus so this is how it's all you can see all my little wedges so I'm going to put glue on each of those six wedged squares okay and I'm going to use my seal plus because it's fabulous and I love it did you see me I did a video the other day showing you the technique of using seal plus so what I'm just doing is I'm putting my tabs on here so that's creating the first part of the bottom of the box and that's the second part so that's the base of the box done so now i'm just going to form the sides of the lid okay so that is my box done simple simple and quick right so i used um this copper ribbon and i discovered the other day it comes as a pair with this one or i'd forgotten it came as a pair but this is from the uh, beautiful autumn suite so you know let's use it because it's lovely um, but yeah hopefully you saw my technique with using seal plus if you use seal you tick at the end when you've finished swiping your glue you tick at the end but seal plus you don't it just you just break it off um, what I might do is look around and see if I've got a bit of dark cardstock to show you 
again you might not have seen it on that video you might be new to me if you're new to me hello three videos a week monday wednesday friday let's trim that off and let's look and see if i've got a bit of dark card stock handy i have shaded spruce this should work so the technique is you start and you go like that that's how you work with seal plus okay so you start and then and then you just lift off and it's a very much a rolling action but you just lift off and the reason I wanted to show you it on dark is so that you can see there we go it's lots of teeny tiny bits together so by literally just lifting off it ends now that seal plus which is the strong one let me just push this down Stampin' Seal is the one that's a bit more like our fuse and so that requires you to check it off and that's a quite exaggerated but that's all you need to do and it's quite a light touch. Okay, hope that's useful. Right, I feel like I'm giving you value for money now in this video so because <laughs> it's a quick one so i'm going to use my beautiful autumn bundle punches which is these three and again if you're new to me in the catalog, catalog it shows the three now we're very used to three punches being the small ones they're not this is a small punch which is where you often where we often have the twos and the three uh, sorry the three and the four packs and this is the size of the small bloom punch that was free during celebration and carried over and it's the same size as that one so to give you some reference on the sizing considerably bigger than the mini ones okay and there is a stamp set that comes with it but actually i haven't really used the stamp set all that much I'm, i've mostly just gone punching so here's my gilded autumn and my gilded autumn my brushed metal brushed metallic i'm trying to get it so that you, there you go you can see those stripes now so they're all like it all the different ones are like it i've done an acorn that's a maple leaf and i think this one's an oak leaf okay and i'm going to get my black mini dimensionals and a paper piercer so that I can be in control of where I'm positioning them. This would be a nice little just because gift. You could you could make your own personalised gift voucher for somebody. I I promise to you know come and babysit for you when coronavirus is over or whatever, you know something like that a nice little just because gift super cute super simple somehow i've got my ribbon the wrong way up but we'll fix it we'll sort it it's all good but what do you think i think they're utterly delightful i keep saying that word utterly but absolutely charming and they are very cute very sweet a nice little box thank you ever so much for joining me Hope to see you very soon. Bye.